In this video, or short video, I'll talk about stabilized and winding insulation resistant. Some people refer to it sometimes as tertiary, uh, but this is winding is not connected to load or anything. So this is typically a buried delta. So in other words, it's connected as a delta with all the terminals are not brought out, except one is brought out for uh, grounding purposes. So it may have one corner of the delta brought out through a bushing. This is the best method in my opinion, because sometimes some people will ground that corner. So you have the delta, so you have the three corners of the delta, and one of them will be grounded. Some people might ground that internally to the tank. Well, then to perform this test, you don't have a way to to remove that ground connection. So you have to get inside the transformer, you have to drain oil, uh, you know, then you have to reprocess oil. So it's, it's not, in my opinion, it's better to bring this terminal, you know, from this bushing here, sorry, from the delta corner, bring it out through the, the bushing, then you ground the bushing externally. Then when you want to perform this test, all you need to do is remove that jumper from the this bushing here that I'm showing as Y1 to ground and you know it's you don't have to drain the transformer you have you don't have to do any extensive work so this is the best option in my opinion because if, if it's grounded internally you have to access that jumper that grounding jumper you have to remove it so if yeah so if the corner of the delta is grounded internally then need access to remove the ground connection so basically you have the bushing then you have the ground so from the, sorry, or from the, let's assume in this case we have a bushing, then all you need to do is remove this uh, jumper or this conductor basically, or bar, bus bar or whatever it is. Now you have the bushing isolated. In other words, the delta is not connected to ground anymore. So then what you do, and just imagine this delta is inside a transformer tank and you have the high voltage, low voltage, and you know, and the core. So then what you do, you apply a DC voltage from, so you connect the positive side to the, to the bushing and the negative side, you connect it to the, to the ground point. So as you can see from the Delta, there is no connection to ground. Basically it's isolated. So that insulate, that resistance, it better be very, very high because it's an open circuit basically. So now you applied a DC voltage. So current, DC current will flow if there is a path from the windings back to the ground. And that path is only made up when you have somehow like an intent, like a, a non-intentional ground. Somehow there was a mistake and this was connected to ground or if there is moisture because moisture will create a path to ground. Contamination and that's really what you are testing here because you are testing for the health of the insulation because theoretically speaking the insulation is supposed to be perfect you know but we know that's not the case because, you know, there are a lot of things, things can happen when you, when you ship the transformer from the factory to the, to the destination substation, or, you know, things can, can happen during the transit. Some, or if you move the transformer from this, from the storage location to the substation, things will happen and cause somehow, you know, you know, there's a, an unintentional ground, you know, that happens, you know. But basically, that's this what this test is for. So if everything is good, you should measure something really large, very large, in mega ohms. Yeah, for a new transformer, typically large transformers, it should be like a thousand mega ohms or one giga ohm. At a very minimum, it should be greater than 500 mega ohms. If it's less than that, you you would have to have a discussion with the manufacturer, make sure, you know, everything is okay. The other thing is you can check the test report and use it as a baseline.
if this test was performed, you know, at the factory and see like, okay, you know, what was it, what was it tested for, you know, at the factory, you know. So this test is very important. Unfortunately, uh, the stabilizing winding or some, some people will say tertiary, but there is a difference between stabilizing and tertiary. Tertiary winding is loaded. It's connected to station service or it's the, all the three terminals of the Delta are, are brought out. So they're exposed basically. But stabilizing winding is really just for uh, harmonic, ter, uh, triple harmonic suppression and zero sequence currents basically. So, but unfortunately, this stabilizing delta, sometimes one corner is grounded internally. Now, you cannot apply this test unless you remove that connection from the delta corner to the ground. And if it's grounded internally, you have to access it. You have to get inside the tank. It depends on, you know, if it's brought up like towards the tank cover for instance you I mean you have to remove the cover probably it depends on the size of the transformer uh, you have to remove the cover you have to probably drain the oil uh, you have to remove that jumper now you drain the oil uh, you open the cover probably you have to reprocess the oil or you know so that's it's just it's gonna take uh, too long and and it's just something could go wrong you know to avoid all this all these issues all you need to do is specify that the one corner of the stabilizing winding or buried delta to be brought out through a bushing. Then a ground that bushing, you know, uh, you know, connected to ground basically. Then all you need to do is, you know, so like I was saying earlier, so now this bushing is connected to ground. All you need to do is remove that that jumper, wire, bus bar, whatever it is, and now you can perform the test uh, easily, you know, uh, you, without opening the cover, without draining, you don't have to do anything. All you need to do is remove that, that conductor that connects the corner bushing to a ground. Thank you and have a great, great day.